After weeks of tense anticipation leading up to Sunday's presidential election, Turks right across the country have started the new week in a state of limbo. Neither of the main candidates secured enough votes to claim outright victory, setting the nation up for a second round of voting in two weeks' time. Incumbent President Recep Tayyip Erdogan holds a narrow lead heading into the runoff, but is sure to face an even fiercer challenge from opposition leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu. On Sunday, the polling itself seemed to go smoothly, but it was the evening's count where things started to get murky. Differing tallies and competing claims between state media, political parties and Turkey's own election authority made knowing who was ahead and by how much difficult to track. The nation's Supreme Election Council said on Monday, almost 24 hours after the close of polls, that there's no path to majority for either candidate in the first vote. Both Mr Erdogan and Mr Kılıçdaroğlu will say they're confident of a victory on May 28. But not everyone is convinced. I don't think any political party is happy with the current situation. We're all in the same boat. We'll see when we vote again in two weeks. People have been given time to think. In the south of Turkey, where massive earthquakes in February killed more than 50,000 people, some of the survivors feel disillusioned by the entire process. I want the conditions to change and get what we deserve, both for myself and for my child, because right now we are heading towards darkness and downfall. Another big question that remains involves the third candidate in Sunday's race, who's now been knocked out. Sinan Owan was running for a right-wing alliance and, according to state media, received about 5% of the initial vote, a showing that, depending on what he decides, has left him in prime position to influence the outcome of the second round. In the simultaneous parliamentary election, Mr Erdogan's alliance won a clear majority, but it's the outcome of the presidential race that will really set a course for the country. But with such a divided electorate, there's really no telling yet what that will look like.